So I'm in the Korea and I'm preparing a mini experiment today. And the last few weeks I'm dealing with um, COVID-19 has been very, very busy for us. I see you know, 20 people a year maybe, and um, I'm getting to that number now here in April. Our typical client load is about 25 active clients at a time. And as soon as the real set in that this is really happening and this is really happening in the city of Detroit, we were getting 25 new people a day. A lot of them had already planned to have their baby in the hospital. And now because of fear, actual fear of being in the hospital with COVID-19, um, just afraid that they may um, pick up the virus, they have decided to consider having their baby either at home or in our birth center. I go by Rocky. Um... I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and this is my first. This is baby Jelani, so we're not that far. It's, we're seven months as of this week. My hospital I was going to is Henry Ford, and Henry Ford is known to have a very high rate with the COVID-19 right now, so I was already skeptical, but when it really hit, I was like, oh, this is something that's really going on in the hospitals. I don't think I really want to be around that right now. I was never really concerned about contracting the virus per se and like getting really sick or um, having like a risk for my newborn but um, I I was really worried about hospital capacity <laughs> because I was curious whether the, the the hospital would the delivery unit whether they would still continue to you know actually work this way or if they were going to reduce operations in order to also accommodate more COVID patients. In the current context where hospital policies are becoming extremely restrictive about who can attend births, um, with what was happening in New York with many women having to give birth alone, and also more generally the sorts of policies that are being promoted, like um, women being urged to have early inductions at 39 weeks, those are things that I'm really uncomfortable with. And so we decided to hire private midwives and to seriously consider um, a home birth. I'm pretty much saying, well, your partner, yeah, partner, partner, totally. Um, and then maybe one support person. Hospitals on the other hand don't have that luxury. You know, they, they have to make up rules that are safer for everyone. They have a limited number of midwives and doctors too. Um, and they have to make sure everybody stays safe. We have actually implemented um, drive-through prenatal appointments that was something that they recommended with the American Association of Birth Centers is like we do a lot of things online so we are still getting to know our moms but we're doing things like you know necessary heart tone checks like we're listening to the baby we're doing blood pressures we're doing blood work but we're doing that outside in the car you know, and if they have to come in, it's a real quick thing. The care we provide is very personalized. And now we don't hug our clients. We, you know, we're not shaking hands and all of those things that were just so automatic and um, just always happened. And now we have to, you know, just sort of give virtual hugs and things like that, which is very different. It's still a really underused um, profession. Like there's so much that we can do for healthy people. And um, I'm hoping that of all of the things to come out of a pandemic, you know, the one thing that might help is being able to utilize our services more. We do have an insurance biller and she does pretty well at getting people reimbursed for their insurance. But some of the major payers like I don't know if I should mention names, but we have a pretty large insurance company here in Michigan that most people have, and they refuse to pay for our professional services. Back in the 80s, early 90s, we were Medicaid providers, and that situation has changed over the years, and right now, um, and then we were no longer on those profiles, and we are seeking to be back on um, some of those profiles. So right now we're negotiating with Virginia Medicaid for the uh, birth center. This pregnancy has taught me how to want less when it comes down to birthing. And even this pandemic has taught me how to be more relaxed 
and more calm because this is something that's out of our control. And I, I can sit back and relax because it's, oh, well, at least you can have your baby at home where you have access to everything. And you don't really have to go through the process and the and get up and leave and you can't be in the hospital for more than three days. I can do everything in the in the presence of my home and not and have not have to worry about getting sick. 